I'm just doing a restock on the shop, uh, the Etsy shop, and I just really want to show you a couple of little items while I've got them here, and while the, the light is really nice, okay, we just got a ton of clouds, which is really good because you can take better photographs, and the problem I always find with photography, is you've got to get it early in the morning and late at night, because just where I am in the world, it's just this intense light all the time. Um, but what I do, a big part of what I do is make leather gear, right? And kind of two things I really focus on at the moment is the kind of bushcraft pouch, both the belt pouch and kind of like, you know, uh, pouches like Tinder pouches, like Sami coffee pouches and things like that. Um, and I also be doing a lot of work with belts and just try to develop really, really nice belts, that are really high quality and high wearing, right? Um, but I got a little pouch that's uh, buckskin I want to show you. Um, I'll just make it a quick video of it just because this little moment in time the light's just perfect and I'll photograph really well. There's really too much gear here, there's too much equipment to really shoot a video on it, there's too much going on. Um, I'm in the process uh, again of a major restock of the shop and it's going to look pretty good. Um, I'm trying to diversify the range of products that I, I offer. Um, I'm doing hat bands and I'm really getting into belts. I'm trying to make really good handcrafted belts, okay? Um, they're basically almost indestructible. Now, I've had some quite good feedback from customers on this. Um, there's some that really put a lot of passion in to. Um, I'm just basically making it as good as it possibly can get and it's as handmade as you can get bar forging the buckle and tanning the leather myself. This particular one's called the Sundowner and um, there's a few different variations on the theme um, this one's just going to get mailed out today to a guy in the UK and it's hand dyed, hand cut leather, uh, hand sewn, in this case it's, it's copper rivets uh, this really good solid buckles hopefully a belt like that would last a really long time 20 years plus all right and with age it'll look better as well the thing about a lot of this leather goods um, as you use them they just look better all right and they develop a little bit of character with you know just wear all right um, so there's a few things in the shop uh, I've got this this is my trademark thing almost the bushcraft sporing all right I've got a few of these guys this is uh, something that's quite unique to me. Um, this is cane toad and kangaroo belt pouch. I particularly like this one. I like them all. Everything I make I like and I would use myself. Uh, but I do have my own little favourites. Um, and of all the stuff you see here before you, I'm most proud of this little pouch. Uh, and I'm going to develop this idea. Um, I do a lot of pouches and I do focus on the pouch. Um, that being said, I'm going to focus in a little bit more on making a few more knife sheaths and ass masks. Um, the problem with that is obviously sizing, because if you don't have that particular knife or you don't have that particular axe, it can be hard. Uh, but I want to show the range in the shop a little bit, so I'm going to be developing a few more products. Um, again, they're all going to be sort of like a little bit unique and individualistic, as this little pouch is. All right, and again, I'm very proud of this. It doesn't look like much, but I really love it. I want to keep this for myself. So it's just a simple envelope design. Okay, like so. Alright. This is a keeper. Alright, you can attach a key or a fire seal or something to it. So you could use it as a minimalist wallet. Uh, you could put a fishing kit in that. You could put a little sewing kit. You could carry spices. Alright, artificial sinew. This is kangaroo fur. Um, I'm going to make more of these. I might use emu skin. All right, and every one would be a little bit different, obviously. Um, but I'm just really proud of that. I just wanted to show you that. It doesn't look like anything. And compared to some of the stuff, which is more complicated to make, um, it's not that much, but I just really love it. I wanted to have a little record of it. Anyway, thanks, guys.